Lucio is one of the top hero choices because of his survivability and of course his speed boost. So today I have Frogger joining us to give us some tips and tricks for every hero matchup. Hey guys, I'm Frogger, a top 500 Lucio one trick. That's it. <laughs> Against Diva, she's one of the easiest tanks to hit in the game, so most of the time, I'm trying to shoot her to just build ult charge in between fights. After she bombs, you can try to kill her before she remakes by opening with a primary fire into a boot melee, which can kill her as long as the bullet's headshot. Remember that Diva can't fully remake unless she's on the ground, so you can also boop her into the air to buy some more time. When going against Doomfist, your best bet to avoid him is just to stay on the walls and stay above him, as the only thing that can get you is his primary fire in most cases. Also, you can boop him during Seismic Slam to knock him back if he tries to dive you guys on high ground, ruining his engagement tool. If you can dodge Junk Queen's knife, she's pretty much useless. If she goes for a big axe swing, you can boop her away during the animation, giving her no value at all. After she's swung, you can speed on her with your team for a very easy kill. Since Rampage does 100 damage over time with an anti-heal effect, you can look to beat against it if you have no one on your team that can cleanse the anti. Against Arissa, you can still boop her during her javelin spin. When Arissa ults, you can also just use your speed to get away from her ult and get your team to safety. Against Amatra, it's best to keep your distance from him and poke him down. However, when he goes to block in Nemesis form, you can get behind him and boop him towards your team, as long as he's not ulting, to put him in a bad position for a free kill. When he ults, just speed your team away from him to break the tether. You can also jump into his vortex with your ult to use your beat drop way faster. Ryan is all about getting into swing range, so it's best to just stay out of his range. Stay warning and then kite away and bully him when you can. If you get swung on by accident, you can move in the direction of the swing to propel yourself with his momentum to get out of range again. If Ryan is cooking up a shatter, it's best to position yourself on a higher ground so the shatter doesn't hit you. If you have beat, you can, you can beat your team, you know? Against Rodog, you can save a teammate right as they get hooked if you boop him way in time. Other than that, it's best to keep your distance from him unless you have your team ready to fight him. Rodog. Sigma is still boopable during his kinetic grass, so it's really easy to get behind him and knock him towards your team. This also deals damage, so it's good to chuck in some melee as well. You can also sound barrier midair if you caught in Sigma's ult before you hit the ground, which is really useful for saving your team from the final slam. If Winston is leaping in to engage, try to boop him down. If Winston chases you down during primal, Try to stay on the wall so he needs to constantly use leap to try and get you, which will buy time for your team and keep you alive longer. Against Ball, always try to boop him while he's rolling around to stop his fireball and setups. I call it the marking play style where I just spend the entire round annoying the shit out of him until he swaps. You can also boop him during the start of slam animation to reduce the damage he does to your team since they'd be further away from the center. Against Zarya, you need to track her two bubbles. The moment she uses one is the perfect time to get behind her into position where you can boop her into your team. This will force the last bubble and you have about 11 seconds to kill her as she'll have no bubbles. If your team gets grabbed, you have to assess the situation whether your sound barrier is actually worth to use it or not. You need to see what the follow-up damage or combo is, and there's no right or wrong answer in this situation. It depends, and will come with experience over time. Just drop the beat, and see how it goes. When fighting Ash, she'll wait for you to get close, then knock your way with Coach Gun. I try to save speed amp after she uses this, and then rush her down. If you can get in her face, she won't be able to use Dynamite on you without damaging herself too. Against Bastion, you can push him to force turret, then speed away and wait for it to end. After that, he's pretty much a free kill. You can easily escape his ult with speed boost or just staying on a wall. Against Cassidy, I will try to poke him down from a distance, taking cover in between shots. However, his grenade can always one-shot you and is very easy to hit, so it's better to bait out the cooldown by playing behind cover or playing further back, then pushing him after he uses it. Against Echo, I would generally ignore her because hitting her consistently is hard for Lucio since she's in the air all the time. The only time I'll focus her is when she goes to ult, keeping her at a distance so she gets less value and speeding my team away so she can't get her duplicated ult. Genji's damage is really weak at the moment, so if he tries to dash onto you and your team, it's really easy to burst him down. If he deflects, you can still damage him with boot for some extra damage while you wait out the deflect. If Genji attempts to blade you and your team, you can react by amping speed and booping away after he dashes. You generally don't challenge Hanzo in a 1v1 since he can kill you very easily, but if you have to, you're better off saving boot for when he doesn't have leap for the extra damage when he's low on HP. Against Junkrat, it's generally silly to 1v1 him up close due to his two shot burst. It's better to just poke from a distance to pressure him. Something cool you can do, however, is wind through the Junkrat trap and break it. It's been a bug since forever, and they still haven't fixed it. Yeah. May's biggest source of damage is from her primary fire now. So similar to Junkrat, you're better off not getting close to her until she gets low. When in cryo fees, get to a position where you can knock her towards your team for a free kill once she unfreezes. Similar to Echo, you're better off not focusing her as she'll be in the air most of the time, more than likely with a pocket. So it's best to keep you and your team away from her as much as you can. However, if she does try to fight you, just try to make your moon unpredictable so she wastes a lot of time on you. Reaper's main strength is being close, so I'll try to mark him as much as possible, not letting him get close to my tank or backline, reducing his damage a lot. You can also fight him at medium range since his damage is abysmal there. You can also counter Death Blossom with Boop, just don't knock him into your team. 
Against Soldier, I generally avoid fighting her as she has a very high damage output at the moment. However, if she's trying to escape using Power Slide, you can cancel it mid-jump, putting her into a bad position, messing up her escape. When fighting Soldier, save your boot for when he throws down his healing station, then knock him out of it for a small opportunity to burst him down. If you're fighting him, try to get as close as possible, so if he uses his healing rockets on you, it'll damage him as well. Summer has always been the number one Lucio counter since release. It's important to use your environment to cancel a hack if you can't react by shooting her in time. During downtime, it's best to shoot a potential Sombra flanks to try and catch her while she's invisible, ruining her engage. But Frogger, what about my accuracy? Shut up! Against the Metro, she's a very easy kill if she doesn't have turrets around her. If you see her going for a TP bomb combo, sit on the teleporter and use boot melee right away, which accomplishes two things. One, it knocks her away from her teleporter, giving her a rough time to escape. And two, the melee destroys any of the incoming sentries. Top turret is one of your priorities to destroy since you can shoot straight line projectiles with no fall off damage. In a 1v1, his overload gives him a ton of extra health, so if you see him use it early, engage on him after that, it's a pretty easy kill. Against Tracer, you can spend a lot of time marking her so she can't get to your team. What I like to do is constantly boop and melee to make up for a lot of missed shots. It's a 355 damage which can force recalls very easily. Use natural cover to force her to use blinks, moving left and right, and don't jump as much against her as it makes you easier to track. When against a Widow, don't be afraid to fight her 1v1. It's very hard for her to hit you if you're in her face. Pretty much, you just want to bully her so hard she swaps to Sombra. When fighting Ana, most of the time she'll be looking to nade herself on you when she's getting low. You can counter this by booping her into the air. You may still get hit by the anti-effect, but she won't be able to give herself a heal to keep her alive in the fight. Against Baptiste, with his regen burst and his lamp, he can survive for a really long time in a 1v1. So instead, it's much better to try and knock him or his low HP teammates out of lamp to finish them off instead of wasting your time shooting the lamp. Against Brink, without a stun, she isn't that scary. It's best to just poke her down and keep her from getting her Inspire passive. So it's best not to go near her unless you know you can burst her down before she heals herself and her team back up. Against Kiriko, similar to Ana, it's smart to knock her upwards so she can't suzu herself in a fight. You generally want to stay higher than Kiriko up in the wall to minimize the chance of her hitting kunai headshots. The body shots aren't as threatening since they only deal 40 damage, which she can heal up over time if she's not hitting them consistently. Fighting Lucio is a wet noodle battle. It's an ego battle. Where are you going, you little shit? Okay, as if I missed that. Get out of here! Don't take the health back! You're a, you're a little shit. You're a little shit, you know that? Who's on point? I'll get him. When he uses his beat, I'll try to boop into the air to give myself a team a small window to kill him before it goes off. Or stalling him out so he can't get a clutch save in time. Against Mercy, you can cancel a res with a simple boot. However, it's possible to one-shot combo her, which is four headshots, boop, and melee. Even if you mess up the combo, the boop will still knock her back, cancelling the res. Against Moira, get a job. But yeah, just ignore her in most cases because you have better things to do with your life than fight a Moira. Zenyatta used to be an easy bully target, and he still is. The threat now is his snap kick passive, which knocks you back, so don't get too close to him to avoid this. You can still boop Zenyatta during his transcendence, so if you can keep him away from his team for just a second, it could be fight winning. Thanks for having me on, Kaku. If you want a detailed Lucio guide where you can learn everything about Lucio, you can find it on my YouTube channel. Also, watch my stream for Twitch drops. Don't watch Kaku. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.